how to scale an instrument using a scale bar is what we're going to talk about today. Um, so in this instance, I've already set up our instrument. We've already measured two points, and I just went ahead and pulled the dimension on those two points just so we have a, a reference number there. Um, I don't have an actual scale bar here, but we're just going to pretend like we measured this scale bar. So the first thing you need to do is to uh, obviously measure your two points on your scale bar, and you need to know what those dimensions should be, and uh, you need to have an uncertainty uh, for that scale bar, as most scale bars do. So you'll go to Construct, Scale Bar, Pick Two Points. That's the first one, and that's the second one. <clears throat> now in this case, we already have, um, I just created this one earlier, but let's go ahead and delete that so we can add a new scale bar. And this one, you can call it whatever you want. You might have an aluminum, a steel, an invar, uh, whatever type of scale bar you have, um, or maybe it's a specific um, distance scale bar. But we'll just call this one our AL scale bar one. And we know that length to be 27.0976 with an uncertainty of one tenth. and hit OK, and hit OK there. So now I, I changed the um, scale bar so that we know we'll get a little bit of a scale here. So we know what our scale bar should be, so then we have to do just go to our instrument, right click on the instrument and go to Properties, select under Scale Factor, select Set from Scale Bars. We'll select that one here, it's the only scale bar in the, um, in the file, and you'll see that it'll give us our new scale factor. So we'll hit apply to instrument. Yes, instrument scale has been changed. Okay, and hit okay there as well. So now we have a new live scaled instrument and our dimension automatically updates for that new scale. So that's how, that's how you do it. If you would like to just set the instrument scale from uh, CTE of your material, you can do that as well. Um, say you have your, pick whatever material you're measuring. Sele select your, uh, the current temperature in your shop, maybe that's 80 degrees. And then the final temperature that you want it scaled to, and SA will show you that scale factor right there. We just hit OK, and OK as well, and you can see that our dimensions for those points that we measured automatically updates there.